Welcome to Old Town Alexandria, where I'm a local resident and have loved living here since the early 2000s. You get everything here. And when you search moving to Washington, D.C. or the metro area, Old Town Alexandria is one of the top locations. Why? <laughs> well, you can see it behind me. You can even hear it. We're close to Reagan National Airport. We're right along the water, the Potomac. Quick distance to the MGM Casino, to National Harbor. But most importantly, you're here in Old Town where you have local boutiques, local restaurants, mom and pop places. This is not chain city. This is let's go truly urban and have walkability. People love living in Old Town Alexandria because it is that. You can park at your house and go walk to the local restaurant. Go walk to the local place where you wanna convene with friends and community. There are dog parks and parks throughout the area. We're standing just outside of where the old boathouse used to be. That's right, the, the boat club moved four blocks down so that local residents and visitors could actually enjoy the space that you see around me. And day in, day out, you'll see tourists, you'll see locals come out and just enjoy what it's like. Whether it's windy like right now or it's calm and sunny, enjoy being next to the water. Uh, there are boat slips here. Uh, you'll see people come and go on their own boats as they go from here up to Georgetown and even further south if they truly want to enjoy boating and maybe water skiing, things like that. You know, you'll see paddle boarding everywhere, even kayaking. People love to be on the water and it's truly an outdoor community here within Alexandria being in Old Town. So in Old Town Alexandria, you have not only the big light that we showed you at Market Square, they always put up another Christmas tree here at the waterfront, and we're standing in what we call Art Plaza. This is where they take different designers throughout the year and do a new design. Right now, they're in between designs where they're taking down the one that was present, and I love kind of the openness and the nuance to where each artist can bring and deliver whatever they want, from a big neon sign to something erected from a shipwreck, you know, there's all kinds of things that they like to show, but better yet, we're going to show you inside of why we really call this an artist's village. We're going to show you inside the torpedo factory. That's right, the torpedo factory was from World War II when they would actually create torpedoes for the war. And we want to show you how they've reconditioned that space to really be a place for artists. Here it is where local artists have their own studios and you as a visitor can come and enjoy their space and how they do art. So you're going to see everything. You're going to see photography, uh, artwork, uh, even machinery where you see what metal is shaped into. It's amazing to be able to visit with the local artists. There's multiple levels of all the different designs and artwork. And sometimes you hit a dead end and you gotta come back out. <laughs> and so that's what's amazing. They've maximized the entire space here and really shown off everything you can visit and come and see from the artwork to the sculpting. And this is one of my favorite places where the machinery is. Hi there, how you doing? Oh yeah. That's the one everyone likes for the depth of it. The lily pads, yeah, that's fun. What was that inspired from? What area? Uh, well, Just in your mind? Yeah, I did several pieces for Walter Reed when they moved. Oh wow. Two years ago, and then evolved out of that. Okay. People like this whale. Um, for those that love history, this is the wall that I always bring them to when they're visiting Old Town Alexandria for the first time to understand where we've come from, where we are today. Reaching back into the late 1600s, 1700s and beyond, you can see the famous people that lived here, when it originated, uh, all the different museums that are here to go back in time to realize everything in the revolution to the new city, civil rights, even remember the Titans which is T.C. Williams now is called Alexandria City Public Schools, which is part of the name change. And then, of course, to modern day, where we go back to Alexandria Market Square. This is full of history, and this is the place you want to live. 
there's always two questions, which is how many blocks are you from King Street and how many blocks from the water? One of the things, blessings of COVID that happened is restaurants started taking back city streets and what they call parklets. So instead of places for people to park, they actually now have extended restaurants to where you can dine outside. They'll even put up heaters during the winter and it's really opened up space and availability for some of the hottest restaurants. Whether we're talking about local ice cream stores, Pops is one of my favorite, or O'Connell's, you know, there's three Irish pubs here in Old Town and O'Connell's is the one closest to the water. And uh, of course, Bugsy's is the famous pizza joint. And when you think Italian, everyone always remembers Landini Brothers. But what I wanna draw you to is they've actually blocked off this entire block. So no cars are gonna go back and forth. This is really part of when people think Old Town and they think, you know what, I'm gonna go out, get dinner, walk to the water. This is what they're thinking, that they'll get dinner here, right here on King Street or just a block off and walk down to the Potomac and really enjoy an evening out. You'll see here the iconic Landini Brothers, which is a great Italian food. I, I actually brought a, a clients that were Italian where their parents actually had a restaurant in Italy and I was nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, are they gonna say it's real authentic or not? After the bill came, they're like, this is one of the best Italian places in town for ambiance off the charts is one to add to your list. And then Fish Market's the famous one. People know that as kind of a seafood restaurant in Old Town, but I would recommend actually going to the wharf instead. I feel that the, the fish and the seafood is fresher. It's, it's a great uh, place to go. And you'll notice it because it has a fun white and blue design from the patio cover to all of the dining. This is one of the best places to come. Cobblestone streets, it's hard to get more historic than that. You'll find multiple cobblestone streets here in Old Town, and yes, people will drive on them and park on them, and it's in the middle of the neighborhood, right? Uh, I wanna show you the different styles you'll see where <laughs> it can be tough to swallow for people thinking about living in Old Town Alexandria because these small townhouses or row houses when you're buying in the city, they're gonna run you anywhere from 800,000 and beyond. Some of it's due to proximity to the metro or to the water as you see behind me. So the closer you get to the water, the closer you get to King Street, the more you're gonna pay. And it's common to see a three bedroom, one bathroom, only a two level townhouse or row house sell for over 800,000. Many of them, if you're over 1,700 square feet, you're gonna be looking at over $1 million to buy in the heart of Old Town Alexandria. Now remember, as you get further away from King Street or further away from the water, you will find some more economical options. But there's nothing like being able to park and walk to your desired destination, whether that's to a local boutique or out for dinner that evening. You'll, you'll also see the firehouse right here on Prince Street in Trice Alley, where it's a three bay firehouse and consistently they have things for the community there. And of course, that's where you see the fire engines going and going back and forth to help out the neighborhood whenever there's an incident. So one way to know if it's historic or not is, do you see the historic plaque on the building? If you see a historic plaque there, that means that they've gone through, typically through the city of Alexandria's library to prove when the building originated and is it truly historic? Now, the majority of Old Town is historic, which means you have to apply to the city to change anything on the outside for the exterior. The, the challenge with that is you cannot put up vinyl doors or vinyl windows. It has to be wood. And so just understand that, that when you buy within a historic area, or even like we like to call this a village, you're gonna have to conform to the local city ordinances, ordinances and make sure that historic approves what you're trying to do, even though it's your home, even though you own it, <laughs> they have to approve it. And you can pay an additional uh, $1,000 or $2,000 in order to get that famous plaque on the outside of your home. The Alexandrian is one of the famous hotels right next to Market Square, close to the water. Used to be a Hotel Monaco, the exchanged hands, now part of the autograph collection. And it gives you the convenience of the water and the metro uh, with fine dining with King and Rye next door and the chance to truly explore and enjoy Old Town. This is one of the hotels we highly recommend. The second place we recommend if you're looking for a hotel in Alexandria Old Town is the Morrison House, where not only do they have 45 unique rooms that gives you the feel and essence of being in historic Old Town, they also have a place called The Study, where you can get that crafted cocktail when you're going in and out from shopping and dining and enjoying 
the Old Town experience. We're at the corner of King and Henry in the heart of Old Town, and I wanted to share with you one of the secrets that most people don't even know, even residents that live here. Across from us is Fresh Baguette. You're gonna see me go in there in a second, but I wanna show you their app. It's called Fresh Brew. You can actually order anything you want, Americano, cappuccino, drip coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you want. And what's amazing about this is it's unlimited, and right now it's only $11 a month. Now, I'm gonna show you great coffee shops throughout Old Town. But if you said, James, what's the best deal if I work, live, or I recreate in Alexandria? The best deal is this. They're preparing my Americano right now. And once you buy more, once you have more than two, it's free because it's only $11 per month. It's like clockwork. You walk right out. They even have your name and information so you can go and grab with no delay. Outside the iconic That's Majestic, great. thank you so much, I appreciate it. Uh, outside the iconic Majestic, which is a great place for wine, happy hours, everything else, they even have a great brunch. Throughout Old Town, one of the things you're gonna notice is that there are restaurants everywhere, not only great restaurants, but mom and pop places where you really get a feel for the local cuisine. Uh, beyond Majestic, we have, we're gonna show you my favorite Greek restaurant, which is Taverna Credico. Uh, they have an amazing outdoor patio place to eat outside when weather permits, and a huge open area inside. Uh, one of the best Saganakis, that's right, cheese on fire, that you'll find here in the local DMV. Outside of Taverna Credico, this is my favorite restaurant in Old Town. It is a Greek restaurant that has amazing moussaka, bronzino shipped in from Greece, and even Saganaki where they flambe it right there at the table. We're gonna walk you through the restaurant and even introduce you to the owners, Denise and Christos, to learn more about their restaurant and how long it's been here in King Street. Here with Christos, the owner here of Taverna Credico, about to tell you about everything it is and when it started and the history of it. Okay, my friend. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, I we love have this a, restaurant. We, we have a few years back. We are not going to say so, how many. Uh, we started the business here in 1973. Wow, 1973. From Washington Street and up, no other restaurant was open. So we've been uh, very good. Uh, the place has been here stronger every year, getting stronger and stronger. Uh, because we have customers like you. <laughs> Talk about the inside and outside dining. I you have the, one of the best outside dinings in Old Town. Absolutely. They say that you can come to Greece without flying and have a nice dinner in my garden. You know that. You experience, I do know that. Yes. You experience that with your friends, your company, and all that. And, uh, and you, you fly in some of the food from Greece. Yeah, you know, the, ingredient, the ingredients... It's come all the way from Greece. The fish has come from Greece. And when it comes to food, I'm going to pass to the board to my wife. <laughs> we bring the, the Brancino comes all the way from Greece. Daily, beautiful. Um, nice uh, shank of lamb in a lemon sauce. We have wonderful homemade moussaka pasticcio, the authentic uh, Greek food, uh, tolmade, stuffed grape leaves. It's all Tell good. about my favorite, the Saganaki. Oh, the flame cheese. Oh, of course. It's a yellow gold we'll cheese. The, yes, yeah, yes. A, a wonderful uh, flame cheese, Saganaki. It's a yellow so gold wonderful. cheese. We flame it and we flambe with the Greek brandy. Yes. We don't get drunk, but the cheese is excellent. <laughs> you know, that's the way it goes. Yes, and very and good. what is each of your favorites on the menu? Uh, Actually, you, when you go to dine here at oh, your yes. restaurant, oh, Bronzino. The Bronzino. And Chris I, likes the lamb. I like the lamb. The shank of lamb in a lemon sauce. And the lamb chops. And, and the lamb chops. Mm -hmm. Of course, before that, we got the Zaganagi, the Horyadigi Greek salad. And, and the dessert, baklava. Oh, the Best baklava with walnuts and honey. And, uh, very, also, also, and the traditional uh, coffee at the end, right? Uh, the, the Greek coffee. The Zorpa Greek, coffee. No, the Greek coffee. Ah, uh, the Greek coffee also, yes. So with the Shadow Muso. Yes. Uh -huh. That's the way it goes, you know. And don't forget the homemade yogurt with walnuts and apricots. So that's very good also. And uh, tell them where you're located here in Old Town. Where can uh, they find you? you? You can find us in Old Town, Alexandria, 818 King Street. 
uh, uh, Old Town Alexandria. Yes. <laughs> you know, 50 years, thank God, we are stronger than ever. Very blessed. Love it. Thank okay. you. Awesome. Awesome. Opa. <laughs> Opa. Yeah. Ooh. One more. Wow. Cheers. So this is what happens when you come to film in Old Town. You get this kind of thing, food rolling in for some of the best restaurants. And as I said before, Murphy's is the Irish pub that everybody goes to for a pint of Guinness. You have Light Horse, where make sure you get the bacon wrap dates. And you have to, have to get the hummus and tabbouleh along with the chicken shawarma at Pita House. And don't sleep on my favorite Thai restaurant within Old Town and the entire DMV, Signature Thai. So we're here at King in Washington, and Washington Street is a big thoroughfare through Old Town. Washington Street's also known as GW Parkway, George Washington Parkway. So it goes all the way down to Mount Vernon, that's right, George's house, goes all the way past the airport to 395 and into the city. So you get a lot of traffic going through Washington. As a homeowner, you never want to live on Washington, but you always want to be close by it for the trails and the convenience. We are now in Market Square. If you've seen photos, and you're wondering where is Old Town Alexandria, what does it look like, and you Google it, this is the image you get, Market Square. In the summertime, this beautiful fountain arises with waterworks. In the wintertime, of course, <laughs> so the pipes don't burst, they shut it down, but they bring out this gorgeous Christmas tree. There's even a Christmas tree lighting if you're in town early in December, late November, when they light up the big tree. You'll see wreaths around it. This is a vibrant farmer's market, not just during the summer, all year long. Most farmers markets don't act that way, but you'll get an example of food, apparel, uh, everything you can think of at a farmers market you can get here in Old Town. It's one of my favorites. There's even a coffee stand where they give Burmese coffee. They even serve it as like a black and tan. We get a lot of our produce here and seafood. If you want natural and organic, multiple farms come here to this farmer's market so that you can buy produce, so you can buy it fresh, right? Uh, this is where bus drops happen. So all the kids that come into town, they wanna to see DC, they wanna see George Washington, Mount Vernon, they always stop here. They park right here along King Street. You'll see the big tour buses. This is both for the active adults, our mature audience, and the young kids wanting to experience what it means to be somewhere that's historic, remember, Old Town Alexandria was formed in the 1700s, right? It's on a grid. So when you think King Street, this confuses some people. King Street down at the water, and then King Street all the way to the King Street Metro divides north and south. So it's really simple if you're trying to learn the area and figure out, well, where am I going and am I closer or am I not? Every block is 100, 200, 300. So for instance, if it is 300 Patrick Street, that means it's North Patrick, that means it's three blocks north of King Street. Or if you love ice cream and it's 100 uh, Patrick Street South, it's just on the other side of King Street. So keep in mind that King Street is that divider of North and South. And based on the numbers, how many blocks it is away from what we like to call the equator of Old Town. As mentioned, we're in historic Alexandria on King Street, close to the water, this is where everyone comes for their tours. Not just any tours, but ghost tours. That's right, you'll see people walking around in colonial garb. They'll be going up and down the different streets of Old Town sharing stories. Maybe folklore, maybe truth, maybe blended. It is an amazing time with family. Even if you're here only for the weekend, you should think about doing it. And for our local residents or people that want to be local, make sure you sign up for a ghost tour. We've taken friends and family on this before, and it's an amazing time out where you truly get to understand and the nuance of Old Town and maybe even a little mystery as they unfold ghost tours. So we're in a, a, a private alley now. You're gonna see alleys all throughout Old Town because of the use of space. You know, before it was the fact that they actually had stables. Like, where would you park? You wouldn't have a car, you'd, you'd park your horse. So you'll see a lot of cottage houses that are between. Right now you're seeing a mixed use of space. That's one fun thing about Old Town is it's residential and retail. Of course a lot of cities have changed to this but Old Town just originated that way. And so you'll see here we're going down one of the private alleys to get out to the main street. Now there's there's three main streets in Old Town. Uh, you have King Street that runs from the water out to the um, 
well, this person's trying to come in here. There's another way to, to come in. And, and now she's politely going out. Um, she's not happy about it. <laughs> that is one way driving all throughout Old Town. She's not gonna go down this other private alleyway uh, that we were driving down. And to the right is Cosmopolitan Grill, one of my favorite German restaurants in town. If you're looking for a schnitzel, that is the place to go. You can get fantastic schnitzel there. Uh, we're gonna weave our way over, hopefully down King Street. So I started saying that there's three major thoroughfares. There's King Street, which goes from the water to the metro. There is then Patrick Street and Henry, and we'll call that one street because Henry's going southbound, Patrick Street's going northbound, and that will take you all the way into the district, into the city. Uh, and then you have Washington Street, which I mentioned earlier, which becomes the GW Parkway. It goes right by Reagan National, and it goes all the way down to George's house. Now, King Street here, when we turn right onto King, we're going to take it all the way up to the metro. And what you'll see is that mixed use of space of both uh, retail and residential, as long as they let us over here. And we started our tour here at Fresh Baguette, where we got that coffee that we did a walking tour with. And now we're gonna take King Street all the way up to the Metro. On the left is Augie's. Augie's is known for its mussels. They have over 15 different styles of mussels. Vermilion is kind of a high-end, classy French cuisine, where the funny thing about that is you can only get hush puppies at the bar. And as you walk down here, you're gonna see fantastic boutique um, shops, places where you can get that unique gift no one else has. Uh, Pacers Running is a fun, Pacers is a big store in the metro market, and they have many running clubs. They'll actually meet right here outside of Pacers and then go for a run. Now, this is the famous Rocket Grill on your right. Rocket Grill is karaoke. That's right. <laughs> Every night has karaoke. You'll, you'll know, now that you're watching this video, I'd have to ask you, what's your pocket song? When you sing karaoke, what do you go with? I gotta admit, one of my classics is Jack and Diane, right? John Cougar Mellencamp, little ditty about Jack and Diane. Don't worry, not gonna sing it. But if we were there at Rocket Grill, I'd be singing right now that. If I could even get up there, there's usually a waiting list. Now, on our left-hand side is Namaste. When you're thinking Indian, this is fantastic dining experience. Uh, huge hall, we've never had to wait, and it's a great place to explore and get fantastic uh, roti. Uh, there's a great shrimp dish that we always get there as well. And as we're diving down King, you can see it right ahead of us is the Masonic Temple. And uh, that also, is something people are drawn to when they Google and they search Old Town Alexandria. They get the water, they, they get the area we already showed you down uh, at the Potomac, and then you'll see the big um, Masonic Temple. Over on the left-hand side, you will see the Metro. As we come up, we're actually gonna drive you through it and then take you back in through some of the streets and, and neighborhoods of Old Town. And you can see the metro stop above. Thysman's restaurant still in business. That's a Thysman named Dr. Joe Thysman. If you didn't know that, at one point he was the, the famous quarterback for at that time called the Redskins. Uh, until, <laughs> and my grandparents were actually at that game until Lawrence Teller, ALT, uh, snapped his leg. <laughs> and that ended his career. Um, we're going to cut down here quickly. Uh, passed by the Masonic. Now we're looking at row houses. This is still part of Old Town. We're getting closer to Del Rey and into Rosemont, but this is still considered historic Alexandria. This is where you come if you want a little bit more of a yard. You can see there's actually single family homes versus the row homes that we saw prior. And I'm gonna take you down this street to get a sense of the feel. As you can see, you'll see front porches. Sometimes we'll even have the wraparound porches. It's a variation of colonial style. Uh, you even have, by the way, we're going over a speed bump. <laughs> Whenever you see a speed bump, that means they get a lot of traffic. One of our rules for clients is you never wanna buy on a busy street. You don't wanna hear it, you don't wanna see it. And if you see speed bumps, 
and or you see double yellow lines in front of the house, we're gonna recommend do not buy. We're gonna take one of the major roads here to cross section us back into Old Town proper. But I wanted to show you how close you were for single family living, because you don't get single families in, in the heart of Old Town. Now, price points for those big single family homes we just looked at, those are easily 1.3 and above. Uh, so you do pay a price tag to be this close and convenient to everything when it comes to Old Town. We're gonna give you a, another look at the King Street Station. You can see here's one of the access points for the King Street Old Town Station. Uh, and within Alexandria, you have King Street for the Metro Stop, and then you also have the Metro Stop at Braddock Road Metro. We're gonna take you down through the back. We'll take you through a back neighborhood here and show you the different styles of row houses in, in Alexandria. Now, you can hear the Metro above us. We're underneath the Metro Bridge. Parking, you know, I would say parking's not bad. Parking is much better in Old Town. Of course, as you get closer to the water, it's gonna, it's gonna be difficult to find spaces. You, they do use Park Mobile everywhere here, just like in DC. But comparing finding a place to park in DC, or even Georgetown, to Old Town Alexandria, night and day. So much easier in Old Town Alexandria. And depending on which side of the street you park, you might be able to find places to park for free for two hours and not have to pay. So from the Masonic and the Metro, we're now going down King Street. And I'm gonna take you down one of the streets. You can see here all of the different restaurants and hotels. Of course, a lot of hotels are right next to the Metro by design. Now, remember, it's a mix of residential and commercial, so, uh, and they're zoned that way. So even someone that lives in a residential home, they could actually turn it into a business. And a lot of people have done that um, within the city here. Here you can see the, the parking and the park mobile. Probably for one of the more unique streets, we'll go down uh, Cameron Street. And then once we can get off of King Street, I'm gonna take you down towards the water and we can see some of the parks, the famous parks here in Old Town. They've done a great job keeping a lot of the greenery um, while still having access and convenience. And that's the library that you can access or go to in order to prove that you are historic. They'll actually help you do the research. We're now crossing over Washington Street. We're on Queen and wanted to give you a feel for that residential and commercial feel where uh, this is where residents live. Uh, you'll have the two hour parking. However, if you are a resident in town, you can get a parking permit so you can park anywhere, anytime when it comes to those notifications. You'll see four way stops everywhere. There's a ton of one way streets only throughout Old Town. Old Town is on a grid and that gives you a good essence for uh, how it compares, where you're located compared to the epicenter of King Street or the water. Is it three blocks? Are you on the 300 block, the 800 block? You know, a lot of times people will ask, well, how close are you to King Street? Or they'll ask, how far are you away from the water or the metro? Uh, you can see all the different color and the fun designs of Old Town. It is unique. This is not cookie cutter, right? This is not your mother's neighborhood. <laughs> this is where, as long as it's within code, you can paint it whatever you want. The other thing I, I love is because it's historic, if you look over to the left, you will see that it is brick all the way around. We showed you in Kingstown where 
there are communities where it's just a brick facade. Well, here, it's brick all the way around. Sometimes they paint the brick. Sometimes they leave it the way it was originally. Sometimes to the right, they just fake it. They make it look like it's old brick. Similar to what the Baltimore Orioles did when they did the Camden Yards, where they made it look like it was historic, right? We're driving to the water. We're driving to the Potomac right now so that you can get a feel for the greenery here in Old Town and all the parks and the nature that give you access. To the right, I would be ashamed if I didn't tell you about it, Momo's, my favorite sushi restaurant. I, throughout the entire DMV, Momo's has the best sushi. If you go there, make sure you order belly hamachi, belly yellowtail. Most places don't even serve it. Now, let me show you something here to the left. This is a concern. Everyone, when they have garage parking or parking in front of the home, tourists all the time, even local residents in Fairfax County or the surrounding area, will come and try to park in front of their home, thereby blocking them. So is it legal? Is it illegal? Well, so they'll pull out their car here. You can see how they pulled it into the street to make sure no one comes and parks in front of their driveway. Uh, it's just the system. It's what they do. Here you can see everybody has a sign. Do not block driveway. Towing enforced. Towing enforced. And see how they pull out. Now, the challenge is these driveways are also so short because they weren't built for cars that it's not even big enough for you to fit your car on it. Uh, on the right-hand side, this is interesting. You have large square footage townhomes. These row homes are going to be over 3,500 square feet but have no parking. But what they do have is a close walk, not only to the Torpedo Factory, but to some of these amazing parks, including Founders Park here. And we're gonna take you by a couple of the parks that are located right on the Potomac. People come, they park here. Now, if you live within three to four blocks of the water, there is a concern. And, and the concern that not everybody talks about is flooding. Flooding is real, flooding does happen. You really wanna be north at least five to seven blocks to have more certainty that you won't have water issues. But take a look at the view that they get here. If you're living on this street and you can visually see the Potomac, you can use all that greenery. This is Union Street and Union Street flows all the way uh, along the Potomac. And we're gonna drive you by uh, probably the most famous park here in, that we're coming up on is Orinoco Bay Park. And that's where they do festivals. A lot of people come and watch the fireworks from here uh, in July, uh, of course, for Independence Day. Uh, they also have people crew. They crew out of the Robinson Terminal here. Uh, so you'll see crew teams flowing out of here. And over on the right-hand side, this is the big park. Recently, they had a Pups in the Park where they had big adoptions and celebrated um, Rescue Alexandria Welfare League actually uh, formed that and had a huge what they called pups in the park so there's always something happening over there. I'm going to take you down uh, Fairfax. Actually before I do that on the left hand side I do want to show you that there is there's not a lot of it but there is some subsidized housing uh, within Old Town. Uh, it's gonna I mean it's great the city has created affordable dwelling at the same time, it could negatively impact you if you if you come to purchase a home uh, within your proximity to it. Now, there's multiple places where they have changed that zoning and done other things, but I love that they have the affordability here in Old Town. Uh, some people, uh, it could impact your home value, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but a lot of times, if, an, if a real estate agent is showing you an area, they're not gonna show you everything. <laughs> they're only gonna show you what they want you to see. Uh, and Again, you'll see a mixture of uh, hotels, commercial plazas, uh, residential, all throughout. And I wanna drive you by one other area that's a great park here. It's Montgomery Park, and that's a couple blocks north here. Things that's nice about some of these high rises is the view of the water. It's fantastic. Uh, Al Lucia is a great Italian restaurant over on our right-hand side, uh, well-known. Uh, and incredible pasta if, if you are into pasta definitely a great place to to come and go there are uh, of course workout facilities throughout you do have an orange theory 
here in Old Town. Uh, you also have the park here that I was mentioning before, Montgomery Park on the right-hand side. Some of the better tennis courts that are out there. There's always a line when the weather's good. You're also gonna have a dog park up here on the left. And of course, a big tot lot, places for children to play. Uh, this is one of the bigger parks that's used within the community. And as we go through here, you're gonna see also um, different styles of homes and what it looks like. Uh, some of these are condo buildings, uh, an apartment. The, the typical view or look of Old Town are those row houses. And I'm gonna turn you down 2nd Street and, and pop back into some of those communities to give you a, a better feel. We're gonna go away from the water now. And I'm gonna take you down Pitt Street. You can see uh, you have the row houses here on your right. So sometimes you're gonna have the garage, other times you're gonna have additional space within the home. That's always a question for people as far as what they prefer. What would they want? Do they want more space within the home or do they want the garage? In Old Town, it is not common to have parking and definitely not common to have a garage space. So keep that in mind as you're thinking through it and where you wanna live, what you wanna do. As a matter of fact, um, we had a client that chose not to be in Old Town with open parking and rather wanted to be uh, outside of Old Town with a garage townhouse, a newer one that was built in the 90s versus a historic home maybe built in the 1800s. This is one of the newer areas that was renovated right here. I'm going to drive you through. Uh, it's easily walkable. It's in the heart of Old Town. Sisters Thai is a famous chain restaurant for Thai food. You have St. Elmo. St. Elmo is the famous one is in Del Rey, but we've got one in Alexandria, Old Town now. And then Hank's moved within the last two years, they wanted that rooftop. You look over there on the left-hand side, they've got that great rooftop area, and it's Hank's Oyster Bar, uh, of course, known for its oysters. Uh, to the right, you have Oak Street, which is a uh, steak restaurant. It's just whatever you want. It's truly a vibrant city when it comes to uh, walkability, being able to go somewhere to eat at night uh, and not having to look far. I would probably spend too many times eating out because there's so many great places. It's, it's hard to run out of great places to eat and where to be. From cobblestone streets to brick lined sidewalks all throughout Old Town and behind me you can see one of the typical row houses here where it's not only a brick facade but it's brick all the way around. This is what you get in historic Alexandria. Zip code 22314, you have the opportunity to make this your not only your next zip code, but your next street. 